stretching after exercise is as important as the workout itself. You need to stretch right after you finish your exercise while your muscles are still warm and they will allow you to stretch them to the level that is worth it and will release the pressure from the tendons. You don't need too much time. It's only gonna take five to six minutes to go over all the stretches. The way we stretch after exercise is so-called two-step stretching. So you get into the position, you hold for a moment, right at the level when you feel the burn in your muscles, then you go a little bit further and you're ready to move to the next muscle. Start with your hamstrings, put your leg a little bit higher, lean forward, hold for a moment, then you go a little bit further, hold a few more seconds and switch to the other leg. Lean forward, hold, go a little bit further, hold again, and ready to move to your quads. First position, just hold to your ankle, keep the leg straight, then step back, bend the front knee, and lean back. You gotta feel the stretch up the tendon of your hip flexors. Be sure that the front knee, you can bend a little bit more or less to get right to the point that you're feeling that the muscles are stretched efficiently. Again, hold for a moment at your ankle, and nice and easy, step back, bend the front knee, and lean back. Going to your inner thighs, legs apart, tuck your hip in, and lean to the side. Hold for a moment, lean a little bit further to the side. Tuck again your other hip, lean, hold for a moment, and go a little bit further down. You're gonna feel the burn a little bit more intense, and you're ready to move to the next muscle. Like a little bit higher, be sure that you move your toes a little bit out, and lean right inside your leg. Again, leg up, roll the toes up, and lean right inside the leg you're stretching. You're gonna feel the stretch a little bit more on the side in your inner thighs. Stretching your calf muscles, just hold against the wall or something, and keep your heel on the down, heel down on the ground, and Nice and easy, push down. You're gonna feel the stretch in your calves the same way. We hold for a moment and we lower our weight a little bit down. We are ready to move to the next stretch. This is again for your calves. Calf needs to, the, ideally we wanna use both stretches as they really concentrate of the different parts of the calf. You put your toes right at the edge. You lower your heel, you hold for a moment and you go a little bit further down, hold, you're ready to move to the next one. We're moving to the upper body, hold your arm, nice and horizontal, pull with the opposite hand, then you lower the elbow, pull again with the opposite hand. You're gonna feel the stretch a little bit higher in your second position. Again, arm horizontal, hold the elbow with the opposite hand, and pull it down, stretch again, and you're ready to move to the inside of your arm. This is important to pay attention. The first position, you can see that the arm is open, tuck your shoulder, then you need to rotate your arm horizontal, do it again, and then you gotta rotate it all the way around, look at the hand position, and do it again. It's important that you do all these three positions because they're stretching different parts of your shoulder. And this is a very common area of injuring because we are not recovering the muscles even after we use our hands. So be sure that you do all three positions while you're stretching your arm and shoulder. And now we are moving to stretching the middle of our back. This is a very hard area to stretch, so you need to really follow the instructions. 
put your toes close to the wall, you got to hold to something and keep your hands very relaxed. Curve your back, try to reach back with your shoulder blades and lift your hips up. You're going to feel your back on the middle, right? Very curved and you're going to feel the stretch right in your lats. Next one, we're laying on the ground. Put your ankle over the knee, grab the opposite leg and pull close to your body. Ankle over the knee, grab the leg that is straight and pull close. This is a so-called sciatica stretch. It's very important to be done after rowing, especially it balances the pressure in your lower back. Next one, as you're laying on the ground, try to keep your shoulders down on the ground and just roll over, over one knee across. Try to reach the ground on the opposite side, nice and easy. Push with your hands a little bit. You're going to feel nice twist on the back. If you feel some cracking, don't worry, it's normal. After you do both sides, just bring both knees close to your chest and hold for a moment. This last stretch is a little bit different. It's so-called dynamic stretching. The reason it's involved in this routine because it's the most efficient way to improve your hamstrings conditions, but you gotta be sure that you do this stretch exactly as recommended because this is the stretch that you can get injured with. Gotta put your rope around your arch, get the leg go up all the way by itself, shorten the rope, apply very firm, constant pressure for a few seconds and go all the way back down and up by itself, pull on the rope, let the leg go all the way down by itself. It's very important, follow the instructions, let it go up by itself. Now in this case, there are a couple of ways to do it wrong. You don't want to tighten the leg when it goes up and you also don't want to keep the opposite leg bent. You got to keep the opposite bend down, leg down get the leg go up by itself and do not jerk it. You gotta apply very constant firm pressure over the rope. Nice, easy, do not go too hard, just very firm, very constant pressure over the leg. Nice and easy and let the leg go all the way down. And this last one, it's a very easy and efficient way to keep the pressure off your hips and release the pressure from your lower back. Avoid buying expensive traction beds. You just hold around the ankle nice and relaxed. Use your weight to pull back. Do one leg at the time and then at the end just hold around the ankles and pull both legs together.